Hello my soccer universe, I more or less got home right now, so I'm still in my Europa League getup from the morning. Here's all still Europa League will change that soonish for um, when the European League comes, but I have a weekend for that because um, you will get my next soccer related video of course uh, Monday morning. But I want to do a collection video and a slightly different one, you know. There are some, there is not only soccer jerseys, Not that's not the only sport I have jerseys of. We already look at my NHL collection, which is probably the second largest. Show you also a little bit of American football stuff. I don't have anything basketball related, except, I mean, I have two basketball jerseys, but they are from two of my favorite bands, uh, Dream Theater and Metallica. So I don't really count those as sports jerseys. But there are two more sports, and one I forgot to do this summer, which is a sport that I really like doing myself and then there is the odd one uh, but one sport that i actually really enjoy but only every four years and now is the time again the rugby world cup just started uh, today with japan beating russia um, so yeah rugby i do enjoy watching rugby and i do have a teeny collection of rugby national team jerseys and they were all bought uh, during the same vacation uh, around Easter 2003 I just graduated and one of my presents was that my aunt who I went to lots of trips with he also gave me for my graduation from high school we went then to celebrate we went on a five um, week trip to Australia and then she said, well, you will finish university. It doesn't need to be that big this time. So we went to South Africa. I said, I want to go Africa. And since she doesn't want to go to third world countries that much, although meanwhile she has been to Peru, um, I said, okay, Africa, South Africa. And yeah, we spent a week there based in Cape Town uh, and then doing a little bit along the garden route, uh, and, you know, going, uh, watching that. And I remember in Cape Town, close to our hotel, which was, of course, uh, at the harbor, there was a very touristy region. Uh, there was, of course, one store that was also selling sporting goods. And I knew South Africa. Back then, I was still kind of on the, on the switch between from scarves to jerseys. But I said, for South Africa, they are a major power in rugby. So I should get a rugby jersey. That's exactly what I did. Springboks home jersey from back then. Uh, if you look at it, I really like the Springboks logo right here. Um, I don't like that there's a sponsor on it, but uh, it was sold that way. I do like, however, I mean, it has this nice um, um, piping here that also is on the back side. Uh, it has the South African flag, so there's quite some stuff to like, but most of all the material is very sturdy. This is, I think it's a cotton based shirt. Let's see what it says. Does it say anything here? It doesn't say anything here. Let's say on the inside, but it's a very, it's more like a polo shirt, a very thick polo shirt at that than uh, any of the soccer shirts that I had. Of course, I've been wearing it a lot, so you can see that the color is a little bit wrinkly, but this rugby style color classic shirt uh that's definitely i have to say of the three one i have that's probably my fa favorite and i could pull it out when south africa won in 2007 the world cup I was quite happy now i said it already i was in australia so for me getting an australia jersey was almost a must and yeah i said well australia is the team that i support most so yeah let's get the australia jersey as well i did this uh I think a South Africa one I got at the beginning of the trip, the Australia one I got a little bit later, and I was really thinking about it a lot. That part I really like. I mean, the color you could get used to, but you see, like the soccer jersey, there is a rugby ball here because the Australian crest can only be used in official functions. It is from Canterbury, which has the three Kiwis here, and I really like the, the Southern Cross here. Uh, the collar again takes a little bit beating. It has a similar material. Let, let's see if it says here what it is. Yeah, I think it is still largely cotton, but I really find this collar very interesting because you see it has just one button and then opens up. Yes, this should be ironed and all that kind of, kind of stuff, but you know, 
that's that. I love the sleeves. This was the last time that they had the sleeves like that. I'm not sure if they were wearing it at World Cup, which was played in Australia that year, but then England beat them in the final. Mm. Didn't like that. But the big downside is the red sponsor. That never made sense to me. Make the sponsor green, perfect shirt with the red sponsor. Makes it almost an ugly jersey, but I still, this is the one that I like best. And my favorite is it's made in South Africa. So, two Southern Hemisphere nations. And then black was my favorite color back then. And at the airport, I, of course, I said, okay, let's get New Zealand as well, because why not? And it's the all black, so it's all in black. It has a different uh, color, and this is actually from polyester, but still super sturdy, super thick. Absolutely love uh, the material on, on that one. It's an Adidas jersey. The first one was Nike, the other one was Canterbury, and it has the three stripes on there. And the, on the soccer jersey, I haven't really seen it that way, but you don't see it. You have one going down the raglan sleeve and one centered one. And then a third one on the back also outlining the raglan sleeve so that was interesting i actually really like the color i mean to be honest this is the prettiest shirt because it doesn't have any sponsor uh it is black which I, as i said was back then my favorite color is still my favorite, favorite favorite color and now that new zealand is really good it's also fun look at the logo right now the silver fern on there it says all blacks really nice shirt uh nothing on on the back that was the most expensive one but i said at the airport i just need to get it there's a little bit cotton on there which is this part here but other than that they're all in large i realize now uh really nice jerseys i have to say i like to wear those a lot and now during the rugby world cup my those are my three nations i know i'm from europe i should support a, Euro, a european team and i know maybe france is missing from there and now maybe the other teams uh, too but i have to say australia was always my num number one between south africa and new zealand it's a toss-up maybe new zealand has won too much so uh they are now twice defending world champions so i definitely don't want to see new zealand win a third one in a row although on the other side that's the nation where it matters most so that's my little rugby collection let me know what you like about these maybe you have a rugby jersey let, let me know which ones you have would like uh, love to see that as well drop a comment below give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos uh, with my collection jerseys or whatever and i will talk to you soon bye hey there i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates, all things that rotate in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm gonna wish you a very good day. Bye.